Okay, we're going to look at how to work out an outstanding balance. Well, there's two different ways to work out an outstanding balance, how much you owe on the loan. And the first way is to take the value of the loan, tell um, and multiply it by the number of payments you made, one plus I to the K, whatever number of payments that have been made, and then subtract uh, the future value. That is, you want to know exactly how much um, money has you've paid off. This is because we want to know how much the repayments have grown to, you know, and so you use the future value formula. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to use the present value formula and just subtract the number of payments you've made from the total number of payments. In other words, the number of payments you have left. So you go N minus K. And if you put that in the present value formula, it's a little bit simpler. It gives you the answer right away, the second method. Well, let's just take a look at an example. Here's a person that had a 3 million um, rand loan from the bank. The loan is going to uh, mature after 15 years. And the monthly payments start one month after the loan. So that means just everything's good. The interest rate's 9% compounded monthly. But what if you had to figure out the balance of the loan after five years. Well, five years is five times 12. You could just grow the loan for um, five years. The interest would grow by for five years and then subtract what the future value growth would be to that point. Just put that in the formula. It comes, just put your I, your um, five years worth of payments, put in, um, what the uh, monthly payment is times one plus the interest to 60 months uh, worth of interest, 60 payments all over the interest rate. That's the future value formula. And you get 2,402,037.4 and 44 cents. But another way of doing it is to take, um, instead of putting in 15 years, you subtract those 60 from it. So 15 years minus 60, it means you actually have 120 payments to go. So you go 15 times 12 minus those five years, you put in 120 into the present value formula. Look, we get just about exactly the same answer. A few cents different, 40, 40 cents different, but both ways um, are acceptable. That's how you get the um, up, determine the outstanding balance after the, after a period of time. And that's how it works.